Okay, let's do a warlock my blade is first tutorial. So is Warlock's one of my favorites. Very powerful. With you and the cat. It's like having 20 life. On the first floor. You know, it's like having a 10 point shield. We call the cat. And the cat uh, heals when it bites things. It's kind of replenishable. Really nice, this warlock. Lots of powerful, so I think it's the most powerful, in my opinion. But each class has its uh, has its um, pluses and minuses, and I like them all. And, it, and the difference is how you play it, rather than the class you play. If you play it well, you'll do a lot more than just picking like the best class. You can't just pick a warlock and be like, "Oh, I'm great." But the trick is the cat. It's all about the cat. It's all about learning how to position Time the cat. To fly. So that Unleash. the cat uh, hey. protects you, protects your group. Uh, the cat uh, does a lot of damage. It's all about the cat. And when you start off with the cat, it, it only has five life. So you need to feed it. Get it uh, to level three. Kinda has four levels, but three of them you can control. The fourth level is just a short temporary like super golden cat moment. But your first order of business when you play the uh, warlock is get that cat to level three at all costs. Basically don't worry about any advanced moves it's my or time now. don't worry about a lot. Don't worry about much. Because you need to get your cat up and that's the um power is in the cat. So, and the cat is tricky because um, when you attack stuff, like she's going to go attack this. The cat has two actions. She'll attack this and she still has one action left. So if she's close by, might as well attack that. She'll finish with an attack there. But you need to play it a bit and get used to how she's going to go. I'll tell you what I can. Um, I've got it like 90% down. There are times when the cat does things I don't expect because she gets, you know, trapped by different creatures. She's surrounded. You gotta be careful. She shouldn't Lighting be down lantern. here. Getting a little messy. So, what I will do is make a mess out of this stuff here. Time to level the strike. Field. Hopefully, get that poison going. Right. A bunch of stuff there. Now, Kana has only two life. And she does two damage because she just turned level two. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take a bite out of this rat nest. This she gets two actions, so she'll get two bites, and then two bites because she does two damage would be a drain of, two, of four. So actually, she's weakened by that um, goblin chieftain, so her attack only do one for a short bit. Um, yeah, positioning. I think in in. Uh, Demio, you know, knowing what the monsters are going to do, trying to predict what's going to happen next, is really the, the main thing. I mean, we can learn that over time. But it's a, a big game of positioning. Get yourself positioned. Positioned well. So let's go get this key. Unleash your wrath. I got three. She doesn't get killed. Should be okay. So get the key and then exit. That's the goal. And yeah, again, the first order of business with Khan is to get her leveled up. Um, so get, when you use the master's call and hit things, you can see the little bar above her went up, the little blue bar, it goes up. Right. So you need to the throw your, you need to throw your um, master's call at things for her to get the uh, Unleash. that blue bar to go hey. up. And the next level will be level three, and that's what we want to get to. So you watch her go. See that blue? She went up a bit. Okay, let's go, kitty. Let's go my get lantern. it. Up we go. There's a lot of darkness. The Rat King is a tricky one. There's a lot of darkness. So when I go up here, all of a sudden I can start seeing more. I can see all kinds of stuff coming. So, I, I am I trying to get two actions? I took one. And then I'm going to mash this, call this. Hana will come bite this. She gets two actions. Here she comes. One action to there. Hit it. And she has one more action, so she'll come back. What will the monsters do next? 
At least small things make good food for Kana because they she can devour them. Although Let's they don't begin. give her much life. These things will give her life. These guys will do one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Which would kill her. And I don't want to um risk it because she's getting close to loving. So I will come back here and chew on the Scab rat doing two and that guy doing three. Okay, so if I chew on this this guy here, Connor will uh, get two bites. The three will go to four to five, six to seven. Okay, kitty. It's two action, remember one. And then there's two. The monster's a So she's back to seven life, it's good. And you can see I'm positioned by behind her. These things are in front of me, so they'll do some damage to her and I'm I won't to start. take damage. That guy was queer was weird. So I'm going to also pull it back to here, and the healing fountain, and work on this guy. Come, Connor. Connor will work on way. this, and then come back. She doesn't always come back. Uh, she sometimes stays out. And I'll show you how that works. You can see again, I have her between me and this stuff. She's my seven point shield. You can see the blue bar. It's getting close to level three. In fact, this should do it. I'm aching to start. Chew on this. This will cause some ache. Get the hound done. Level three. Now she has ten life. She has three damage per hit. If you grab her and pick her up, you can always see what she's gonna do. She has movement of ten, which is fantastic. And let me use this feral charge. I can charge through things. Let's get the spider and that guy there. I'm gonna choose these three. If I kill those, he might panic. Humans, humanoids can panic. And there he is. The spider wouldn't panic, so that's why I chose to kill. The other things, that's a bit high to think of. Um, the basics are right now. Kill. I'll uh, get kind of level three, which is done. Let's go find that key and get out. Do I need the heal? I don't. Okay, for now. Let's go, kitty! Let's go see what's in here. All right, the monsters are up. Lighting my lamp. Right, let's get rid of this thing. Sting and scratch. So my first action, I blasted it, and it she'll just finish it. Like that. Um, again, you want to keep Khan in front of you. So um, I'm gonna move and get this chest. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go here or here. I'm gonna go here. So when I get the chest, she'll move forward and, and stay to protect me. Okay. She's got to think about where she's going to be. And if anything comes through here, she'll take the hits. So you want to always think about where Khan is positioned. That's tricky. I'm going to come through this door. And I'm going to tuck in here so she comes around. Again, protecting me from stuff here. Ready. Let me get to this door. Uh, so we've got the key. We need to find the exit. So I'll just loop through. Uh, here's a good thing to know about Kana. She'll attack things that are two squares away. So if I go here, she will come in. And because this creature is two squares away from me, she'll come hit it. So yeah, I'm going to move in here, and there she goes. And after she hits it, she protects me. So she comes in front of me. Ready to slay. Okay, now I'm going to come through. Punch that. Attack! Uh, Let's see what's in here. That's my first action. And so I don't know what's up here. Once I go up here, the darkness is going to reveal itself. Which can be dangerous. You know what? Let's just chuck Khan up there. If I send her... Um, not one, two, three, but four squares or more, she'll stay there. I would send her to this square, she'll come back. Because she's within two, she's two squares away. And I'll show you that. I'll just... I'll, let me show you how it... Kind of got to throw her a bit far away to... To make her stay. So I'm going to throw her there. Unleash. She'll stay. Hey. So I'm shooting it to a square, which is a stay command. Just stay there. Oh, my turn. She's to stay above her head. Begin. See that? And now my new turn starts. She just stays over. So my, so this time I'm going to throw her at the gold. Heed She'll my get coin. the gold, but it's because she's close to me, she's going to come right back. Now, what will the See? Do? <laughs> it's my time back. now. Anyway, let's keep moving. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. 
I do risk taking damage. You see defense. now she's behind me and not protecting me from the front. It's my time now. So um, let jump come. So I'm gonna go here, go here. Just keep moving. Monster time. These things will probably get a hit on her, and then I'll deal with them. That rat's not one of that rat. No, okay, he just did nothing. Ready to slay. I got all these astral strikes. Let's just drop it in there. Let's see if I can't pull out a crit. Ah, oh, never mind. An astral strike. To clear. Astral strike does ten damage. Spread out a bunch of different things. If you get the crit, it's twenty damage, which is real nice. And I'll just devour this thing here. Actually, so I've done one of my actions. I'm gonna chuck Kana at this one. She'll probably kill it. Let's see. Come, Kana. I'll do one with the blast. The master's call hit, and then that will do the. Game. Since she has two actions, she'll do another one. And she's gonna catch me. This guy panicked, so that's the end of him. And forget about him. This Ready. is probably the exit. Or it could be over there. Yep, this is the exit. You can see it's the exit because I can't land on the uh, point of interest. I can only land in front of it. Am I ready to go out? Maybe. Let's just go here for now. And if I go get this gold, I will be susceptible to whatever's in this room. As you can see, I can move one, two, three, four squares. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. But I cannot move here or here, whereas normally I should. One, two, three, four. So these probably have lamps or creatures. So if it's creatures, I'm in a little bit of trouble. So let's put... Let's put Kana in front of me. Throw her here my to get a look, and then she'll pop back. It's close to me. It's the monster's time. Okay, Ready so, to so we're good. Get that. And not much else. We can sell the chest as well. Okay, monster Let's time. begin. Quiet. Uh, I think there might be another heal fountain over there. We'll find out. Okay, I've got room for this. Let's get this one. I'm running this one solo so I can go fast and tell you things. Okay. Monster. It's my time now. Got quiet in here. Chest. I've got room. Let's get it. Chest. Alright. Let's get begin. Out of here. All right. Monster. Ready. If you listen closely, you can hear some footsteps. That's the guy. That's one of the guys that's floating around. Die now! Now, watch. Listen closely, so you can hear footsteps. Let's begin. Did you hear that? Those are footsteps in the dark. So something's running around. I don't know where it is. I'm aching to start. Yeah. Did it. Let's see. All up ready. Okay, we're done here. And we're out. Okay, level I'm one done. Hop in. With the Rat King on the second and third levels, things get dark real fast. You can only see two squares out. So you want torches. So I will get torches and I will get plenty of them. I'd rather have torches more than anything. I like having two heal potions. Um, it's the thing is, in the Rat King, it's the darkness that gets you. So, uh, I'm going to sell off some stuff. I'm going to get these torches. That's really what it's all about. It looks so innocent and so cheap and so non-exciting. Non the torches are everything. I like having two heal potions. Swiftness and strength are always good. So let's get... I like swiftness better because, again, this is about a game about positioning. And that, uh, that matters a lot. So I'll get that. I'll get the strength because it'll pay off all the time as well. Probably take it myself so that I know I do three damage. What else do I want out of here? I got my two heals, I got torches. Uh, Antitoxin's kind of good for poison. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this. And I'm good. In we go. As you access me the and the cat. Wall, you see rat tails disappearing cat. around the corners. Swiftness so for me. Just take see if you can catch for me. And begin. <laughs> Only because when, the way I play Khan is that. She can go down. The good news is that after she goes down, she comes back and around. And she will stay at the level she died at. So she's level 3. If you pick her up, you can see on the left, Fortitude 3. Kana's top level state. She does go to a, 
a hyper state, like a kind of a level four. But that's only for a couple of rounds, and then she gets a lot of hit points, a lot of life, and a lot does a lot of damage. But that's more of a, a nice nice surprise when it happens, as opposed to anything I strategically do. Okay, level two, it's big. The goal is to find the key and get out. Basically, basically you got you've got to scour. But if you can get some points of interest along the way, that's good. So I like staying to the edge, so there are a few things that can surround me. And I like to wait before I use a torch, because a torch doesn't last forever. Um, so I like to wait until I really, really need it. Anyway, as you can see, if I move, you can see there's, not, there's nothing in this room, because I can go in any square I want. So it's basically safe. All right. The room is empty. Monster and you can see, I can only see, I guess, three squares out. One, two, I can see these, but I cannot see the dark. That's where things get tricky. Okay, here we are. And so again, oh, if I take my master's call, I can target things in the dark. But there's nothing in here. Otherwise, it would turn red. So forward I go. I like to pull to the side, because then Connor will stay here. All right. And if something Hold comes on, through, ready. at least I can react. I can be a little bit away from the door. Okay, here we are. You see something's there because I can't step there. Now things might get hairy, so I'm gonna light up. I'm gonna smoke up. There is trouble, as you can see. So, once this thing gets half life, it gets berserked. So if I hit it with Kana, it'll probably go half life. Spider does two damage on a bite. When it's berserked, it does three, so that'd be six damage. Kana has ten. Uh, hopefully, she survives it. You know what? In this case, I would actually pull back and deal with it. You know what? I'm actually going to jump in. I jump in, kind of bites something and stands in front of me. So we'll stay with that. Uh, hoping she would go there. It didn't happen. That's where I didn't predict it well. And I got the bite. It's me. Two. So 11. So I can pop it with his astral strike. Hopefully finish it. I got that lamp to worry about. Okay, let's just throw it out here. Hopefully we get an oh, astral that's... strike. That'll be 20 damage. Oh. That's good all. And let's put Khan out here. Sting and scratch. I would step out, but then I'd be exposed to anything in these hallways. I'm not ready to step out yet. Next round we'll step out. Because Khan was two squares away from me. One, now, two, and there. And she came back. Let's have a look. Wow, that's a lot of fungus. It's a lot of fungus. Fungus among us. So let's take advantage of it. Yeah. Okay. Tracking is good to pop poison, especially if you're soloing. It can uh, protect you from all the rest of the other stuff coming. Let's go, kitty. Kitty should come. This guy's two squares away, so she'll come hit it. Yeah. Now she protects me, she's got nine life. She can take two from him and take some from the slime. So we're good. And off we go. Gotta find the key. Who knows where it is? In this case, I like to just get stuff. I like to jump on things before I have a look. Boy, more hell coming down the pipes. One, two, three, four. This guy can get me as well. I'm gonna jump in the jump back in the hallway. Let's get over here. What were the it's kind of between me and that guy over there. So that's good. I'm aching to start. Now I'll get rid of this guy. I don't know where the spider went. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's there. My so again, may, with Kana, you just want to keep it, keep Kana between you and the junk. Oh boy, what am I going to do with this stuff here? Um, I'm going to drop in here. When things will get funneled up here. Oh, that's the key, right? I like that. Basically, this whole, this door is a funneling, so I get something to funnel through. This is a bit of a risk. I know there's an archer out there. He might come shoot this. That'll blow up, that'll blow Let's up. Let's begin. Might be death of me. This is a bad spot to be in. 
But the good news is I have my actually I have this actual strike. Let me blast on these things. I have the scroll of lightning as well. But I don't want to hit those lamps. They look a little bit risky. Let's just blast these guys over here. Let's just blast them. They can't flee this. Sweet. And what I'm going to do is stand in the door. So that kind of bites that thing in front of me. Actually, I'm going to get out of the line of sight of the spider. I'm going to go here. Kind of, you know, it's two squares away. One, two. So we're going to bite the point there. So it goes down. Ooh, spider's berserk. Just pop these eggs. It's going to be bad for me. I moved here also to get away from these lamps. Pretty nasty. What's my life? At seven, six, five. Woo! I'm aching to start. Now, uh, Kana will come back in after one round. So basically, I don't have it for one round. Should come back. That spider's berserked. That's a bit of a problem. But since he is at half life or left, I can use the uh, consuming <laughs> vortex. Consuming vortex will kill things that are half life or less. The monster. He's gone. And I got the key. I should find the exit. And stay alive. And here comes some more junk through the door. Ready to slay. There's my kitty. There's my kitty. <sighs> okay. So for positioning, I'll get rid of this. And I want the cat in front of me. Now. Ah, oh, he panicked. So it looks like we're looking pretty good. Let me go here. Kind of will pop through. Yeah, if something gets two squares within me, and Khan has a turn, she'll go get it. Now, it's and we're off to the races. Is it, is it, it's a clown. Let's see what else is in the dark. You can see that red square there. There's something there. This guy's there. I could blast him. This will cause some aid. Protect your master. Ah! All right, we need to find the exit. Ready this could stay. be the exit. Let's go here. And as you can see, I can't move to these squares or this one. So there's some things there. As you can see, they're red. So a bunch of creatures here. And it looks like I can attack something there. And this is empty. So this is not the exit. You can tell by what the spaces I can shoot. So let's hit this thing and see what it is. This will cause some ache. I shoot this thing, Khan will come out, and she'll stay in front of me and protect me. She's got 10 life, so that's good. And... Okay. All right. And again, I can only see three squares, so I can pop another torch. Um, maybe I will soon. Ready to slay. But it looks like we're kind of good. So let me come here and get rid of this guy. I'm going to see what's here. Remember, three squares gotcha. I can see. I'm going to see all this. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing, whatever it is. It is the enemy's turn. Ready. If I had ten life, I might hesitate to get that. But I, you know, I can't, I'm not coming back. I'm moving on. So I don't. I kind of don't like to babysit the healing fountain. All right, we got a big door here coming up. And, uh, I don't know what's gonna come through it. So let me put Khan in front of me. Heed my call. A couple times when you, when you get near a door, it starts to open up. Oh no. There's a creature here two squares away, so I kind of came and bit it. So she didn't go kind of where I wanted. Let's begin. Some junk here. I guess we gotta get to work on it, huh? Um. Yep. Junk here. What are we gonna do with this junk? We gotta start chewing on it, I guess. Let's get this guy. So, what I'm gonna do is so I get kind of between me. Kill this one. Oh, I guess I missed. So, this Whoa. will cause some aid. Let's see what she hits. That's good. And then, uh, I'll go kill this guy. 
Die now! Um, she'll hit this one because it's right next to me. This protects me from the other one. I think there's something else here. Yeah. Okay. But I'm protected from that, so that's good. Time for my blade to fly. Yeah, let's get rid of the rat nest. This will cause some ache. I think I'll do one, and she'll do three. But she'll drain for one, I believe. So she has one life. And there's that one that's over here, so I'll just go here. Now this door might open and come get me. Monster time. So I don't know what's coming. From. This thing keeps missing me. Warlock ready. Okay, let's go through here. And let me torch up. I left that rat because you know, it's annoying. You don't really get anywhere. This rat's bothering me. So let me just keep moving. Boop. Oop, there was something here, two squares away, kind of found it. So that's good. Now I'm protected from the front. The rat in the back is too far. I don't know what's out in front of me, so that's risk. I got the bone for the dog. That's good. I'll have him on my team. I like that. I was taking a beating. That's good. Either. It's kind of at three. Think a little bit here. I just got messy real quick. Ready to two. slay. Boy. Wait, let's get this dog on our team. Do you want the dog? Yeah, I think I need a dog. Yep, we kind of need some life. I'll get to get the far dog. Let's You're get welcome. Him. I kind of need some life here. I'm going to pull back for positioning. And I'm gonna blast this elemental so that kind of gets some life out of it. She'll drain it for six, putting her at eight. One. She gets two actions, just three and three, so that'll give her six more life. Puts her back at eight. Poison, so it drops. Oh, the elemental get killed. Damage, she's now at five. But that's good. A lot of that stuff is out of the way. Portal. I need to find the exit, huh? This could be the exit, or that could be the exit all the way down there. I've got a lot of cards and a little bit of gold. I don't think I'm ready for the third level. Let me just get the hell out of here. Time for my blade to fly. Question is, is that the exit? Let's go find out. Kind of a two. If it is, I'm out. Oh, it's not. Kind of frozen. It's a bit risky situation. I'm at 10 life, so that's not that's pretty good. I can portal over there if I want. That might that might save me. Oh, I think I'm gonna tuck in here and get this chest. Yep, I'm gonna get the chest. Let's get rid of the federal charge. Let's get this chest. And let's hope this doggy protects me a bit. That's good. Port it over here. I might just portal over to the exit. When you play solo, you do get a lot of cards. So Kana went down, so I'll be out without her for one round. Um, she protected me, so that was good. Should I track down gold? Should I scour the dungeon? You know, it's not an Let's easy begin. dungeon. I can get these golds and take it from there. You know, if I'm greedy, but I think I'm just going to boogie to the exit. I'm not sure what awaits me here, though, but I'm going. I'm doing pretty good so far, so I'm happy to... Happy to survive it. Let's just go right in front of it. One small step, but a long journey. Ah! What did we get? All right. I can go back through, which may be the thing to do. Or I shoot off a lightning here. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the lightning. I got ten life. I think I'll survive these guys. Let's bolt these other guys. Boom. Booyah! For you guys. Oh, everyone got shit on that. A little luck goes a long way. Again, Connor will come up in a moment. <sighs> I think maybe something might come through the looking glass. I don't know. When you're playing with other players, when you play with the Warlock, and maybe that's a different tutorial. But um, again, similarly, you want to use Connor. You want to get Connor a level up right away. 
Even if it means sitting around chewing on little creatures while everyone else moves on the dungeon. You need to get her leveled up right away. Because um, you don't want to be doing that later on. But with other players, you want to just position it. Uh, position kind of to protect everyone. Um, yeah, that's the basics of it. Kana is your thing. I know there's a lot of other great cards, but you always want to think about where Kana is and where she's positioned, and I'm out. Bloop. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, Rat King level 3. Okay, now that we got the big boss to kill. I love having adamants, but I don't got any. And again, torches is really what is how you do these. That's how you do it. So, um, the guiding light is handy too. So I will get, and I love swiftness for positioning. So swiftness. Yeah. Steps. Yeah, I took the hallway there. That door there? I don't see any in here. Okay. Uh, where was I? Um, now the torches. These other ones are great, but. You know, the tor just not in seeing what's in front of you is, choice. is how you get killed. Torches are also great for trapping the Rat King. Uh, so you're learning a lot about the Rat King as well. Um, I like having two heal potions. Um, with the Rat King soloing as the as the um, Warlock, I really an adamant would make me very happy. But if we can lock him in and bla keep blasting him, that's a good thing. So... I only need stuff to lock in the Rat King. So let me get rid of this. Let me get more light. Fine choice. Let me get... Get rid of the Astral Barrier. I'll get the... Vortex Lamp is good for locking Fine him in. So I got my body, I got Kana, I got, I got two torches, a Vortex Lamp. Should I get something else? Incidentally, the portal can lock them in too, if you do it right, but that's pretty tricky. I think I might get that water lamp, just because that's really the thing to do. I think I got a few toys. Let's go with these. Okay, in we go. One final top and one more level to go. Just hang in to the end. Let's go find them. Okay, the warlock, Kana. I love the swiftness. A Here bit more speed. No matter what class. <laughs> and the torch to see. So, oh, if I could find this Rat King, the earlier, the sooner the better. So let me get over to here. And let me put this thing out. Now, I, I stay on the second stair. If you're on the second or third stair, then you get to see the upper level. If you're on the ground floor, you can't really see up well. I'm gonna pop this here. Guide so I can get some eyes. Zero action, so I get that out there. If I get some poison going, I really like that. Poison's really good. So, we're gonna get this poison going. Just gonna blast it. I think I'm gonna get a rat. This rat will come get me, but so be it. Okay, Kana, come hang out. Ooh, that guy ain't gonna last. Oh well. Time to move the Nothing behind me, so that's kind of good. Got a rat bite. Hopefully no Gorgons or Ice Elementals pop out and freeze me. That's why I like having Kana in front of me. Now it's me. Okay, there's junk coming. <sighs> okay. Oh, well, time to light up. A torch to illuminate our way. Oh, did I? Oh, did I have a little bit left from last time? The weird thing with the torch is that if you do, um, well, it's like I had one or two from last time. It'll take a round before that nine shows. Kind of a hokey thing. But um, I guess let's get Connor to go to work. Sting and scratch. Connor to work. Let's go, kitty. Go kill some stuff and get out in front. As long as you're out in front, I'm happy. I'll get rid of this. Taste my you'll this, cat, this rat because you're two squares away. And then you'll protect me. Hopefully you go here. 
things that come this way may choose to hit her or me. If it's a projectile, it'll go for her. These creatures will hit her first because it's closer. Now it's me. So she's protecting me, so that's good. Yeah, I like to know what's coming, so let me get a Hey! We got a winner. Okay, I need to survive this clown. And to beat the Rat King, you gotta trap him in. So incidentally, I've got a couple of tools. Oh, can I get the torch out there? No. Okay. Ah, oh, how can I lock him in here? I was hoping to throw a torch behind him, but there's stuff there. I can't get it there. Oh, he's coming. The Rat King does move six squares, so I can play off that. One, two, three, four, five. He'll probably come to the here next. So let me just reposition a bit better. I'm gonna... Oh. Kind of far back enough. Okay, he's here now. So he's here now. He'll go one, two, three, five. He'll come to here. So I'm gonna pull Connie kind of back a little further. Holy crap. Ready. This is gonna kill me. So let's hit the racking. One, two, three. He'll come into here, then I'll try and trap him in. So me and you, kitty, get over here. Let's wait for the big guy. Heat my call. Hopefully you don't get smashed, kitty. There he is. We got a winner. Make sure your cat doesn't go down. He does four damage. All right, kitty, you ready to do this? You gotta lock him in. Lock and load. So I've got a torch. I've got a vortex lamp. And I've got our bodies. Okay. Okay. So let's get to it. I'll put my body here. What do I want it here? I'll go here. You gotta lock them in. So one body there. Taste my blood. Lay down the lamp and the torch. I'll put the let's put the lamp there. As beautiful as it torch is. Torch here. A torch will surely aid us. Now we're gonna get Connor in here. I gotta make sure I don't go down. So let me take my heal potion. Actually, I hope these rats can't get me. I'm gonna take my heal potion just to be for insurance. <laughs> Let's get to work on this guy. Let's get Khan in here. Sting Khan and in scratch. There. Let's go, kitty. Hey, we got a kitty. Yeah, I do. All right. Oh, that's a big hit. 27 left. What I'm gonna do is back up and put kitty in front of me. Once he goes berserk, he's going to be doing a lot more damage. That's going to stink. I would love some astral strikes. I'm aching to start. I don't want the tsunami. It's going to mess up my trap. Some vortex not good for me either at this point. So he put bang me for six. That's brutal. Let's see if I can get the uh, astral strike out of here. I'm going to hustle over one. Boy. Taste my blood. I'm gonna move one more so that the cat hits. I'm gonna move here. Now where am I gonna move? I want to move so I put the cat in front of him. So the cat stays in front. Keeps him locked in. I think I just have to stay here. He's gonna do what? He's gonna do four on me unless he goes berserk. Ooh, I'm hurting. I think I'll have to take it again just to be sure. But I think um, the next round I can get the cat in um, front of here and I'll be, I'll be over here nice and safe. Unleash your rest. A bit tricky. You know, in a month, and she should move here. Okay. She took one hit. That's good. This is good because she'll take the hits and put him down. Give him some junk it's in my the back. Time now. I can afford a hit, so I'm going to keep blasting him. Yeah, but he's gonna go berserk because he'll be less. So half of 37 is 18.5. So once he's at 18, he's gonna go berserk. So he's going bonkers, basically. It's time. Come, Fauna. Unleash your rage. And he'll do two attacks for five, I believe. Which is, which is too rich for my blood. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stand here. 
Hannah's gotta hit him and protect me, so she'll stay right where she is. We're getting kitty. She has ten life. Nine, five. Dead! Ooh! He does too much damage. Now he's at eleven. Now life gets tricky. Life is tricky. He's at twelve now. Ooh, you might be see a dead a dead uh, warlock here. Time for my blade to fly. Oof. And he moves six squares. I don't think I can outrun him. It's gonna get a little messy. How can I survive this clown? I'm gonna have to run it. I'm gonna have to hoof it. 14 life. Kinda will be back next round. I can't finish him. Die now! Right. He moves six. One, two, three. One does he move? Three. So six in total. When he's berserk, I think he moves four, so eight in total. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So let me just get the hell away so he can't see me. Go in here. The monsters are gone. Oh, he's not attacking the torch. That's a little me. That's the thing about the torch. He likes to attack someone. Anyway, Connor will be back. Let's hope I don't get too much trash out here killing Time me. Time for my brain. Okay, we can get back into it. He's gonna be working on that torch, is that right? Okay. What can we do here? Oh my gosh. I can burn some things and hope for the astral strike. I think that's what I'm looking for. Okay, vortex. Get rid of that. Oof, portal. That's not what I need. Alright, kitty. Well, I don't have to tell you, but get in there. Again, you um, want to keep. Connor's about positioning. Sure you want to keep her in front of you. So she'll come here, hit that, and just kind of back up to me. It's wrecking. He might throw some junk at me. It's, oh, he's right. He wants a torch. He's going for that. Oh, I'm getting lucky here. I can put three, six, seven, eight, nine damage on him. I need a lot more than that. I need a lot more than that. I don't think she'll survive a hit. It's a tough situation. That doesn't help. Sting and scratch. Where are you gonna go? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, kitty, don't miss. Come, Unleash your rest. Get some life out of here. Check me. <sighs> Holy hell. Ah, <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I run? Just try and rest and get a bite of me. Yes, two. Out of Connor for a round. Ready to slay. Woo! No cat. You know what? I'm just gonna run to one of these other points. A bad idea. I guess maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let's go to this one. I'll pop through here and then I can go one, two, three, four. Let me pop through here. Let's use it wisely. He's gonna come follow me. Now let's just get this one see what we get. Alright, you should come through and kill me. Um, uh, 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 no. No. It's my time now. Lucky. Alright, he didn't come through. I'm here. I got no healing. I'm here, but I'll also drink this. And I can burn that from that. Uh, I guess. Okay. Gotta keep myself protected. Uh oh. That's gonna be the end of me. Unleash pain. Yeah, and you wanna get the cat in front of you. She'll go there. I guess she'll hit one. Yeah, it keep me. Oh, there he is. Rat can't eat. 
He pooped the rat nest, hit and ran. I'm off to the races again. Kitty, hold out. Lighting my lantern. We're off, kitty. Pray for a heal. Useful. I'm sure again. I could burn it or something. Okay, what do we got? Astral Strike. Oof, that's helpful. A crit Astral Strike will be 20. I think the big boss is coming through. These guys are going to devour me. I only got three life. Well, actually, that makes this a heal. I should run forward. Ready. I'm going to run forward. This is certainly a heal. And I can't get it. So if you hold your. Astral Strike. Oh, well, you can see how many things are here. There's a whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. Racking's on the way, too. I just gotta pray. Your warlock dead. There you have it. Use the cat. Stay alive. Keep it in front of you. That's the basics of the warlock. You want to get that kitty out leveled up, keep it in front of you, and uh, keep it in a good position. And that's how it goes. Good luck with your warlock.